Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth and I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan and I have with me today my very good friend, colleague, cohort, Dr. Tom McCauley who is a periodontist, a great periodontist in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We have done so many things together. We were the first periodontist, we were the first dentist in the United States to have lasers, We've broken so much new ground and territory together. We've both kept on the cutting edge to a large extent because of each other. And so I'm very happy to have him as my guest today. It's great. So we've been doing this collaboration together for like 30 years or yeah, more. Yeah, it's been close we to 30 talk years. At least once a month. <laughs> at least once a month. And trying to network new innovative ideas. We had the first laser. We were the first people to use the microscope antimicrobial therapy. We we're the first to, to really use pinhole surgery. We were among the first to use the laser to cure periodontal disease exactly. and treat periodontal disease. Right. And Tom has actually done a study. Tom has done a great study about how effective the laser is for periodontal disease. Why don't you tell us about well, that, we, Tom? We did this I uh, first I first when Joe and I got it back in nineteen ninety, remember? I did a study in ninety two with Dr. Cobb and we showed that it, it killed the bacteria. And then uh, we we devised another technique with some other people and uh, so we just published this study that showed that in nine out of ten cases we killed all the bacteria and in in none of the cases where we did ultrasonics did we kill any of the bacteria, which was a breakthrough. Uh, nobody had ever shown any study that killed all the bacteria in the pocket. So it was a really a breakthrough. Not only are we killing the bacteria in the pocket, but with the Millennium Laser right. and the LANAP technique, right. we're actually showing bone growth, exactly. which is the first time that bone growth has ever been shown in any of these kinds of procedures. Right. Actual bone regeneration occurs exactly. using which is, which is the Millennium in the LANAP laser technique. Which is really a miracle. Yeah, it's a miracle. And it's great. It doesn't, there's virtually no pain. It's mm -hmm. so effective. So How else would you want to have your gum disease treated? So the laser has really transform the way we care for people because it's so minimally invasive, it's so effective, it's so satisfying to save teeth that, that many, many people would take out. So it's, it's just, um, it's, it's changed my life in Periol. That's why Joe and I are still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. And I, I, I gotta give credit to Tom because Tom hears about these things that sound offbeat and crazy. I said, Joe, why don't we take this course? And, you know, knowing Tom is nuts, and I'm a little bit nuts, I said, okay, I'll go with you. And so <laughs> that's that's how it got started with the pinhole. I'm sure it was Tom who mentioned it. That's how it got started with the laser. I'm sure it was Tom who mentioned it. And then we spent time with Dr. Mark Bonner from France, who taught us how to really eliminate bacteria and cure periodontal disease in a way that nobody else has ever really explored and almost no other periodontists that I know of, no. hardly any in the country, ha are utilizing those techniques to eliminate bacteria and gum disease, which is an infection actually. Uh, finding what's the infection, you know, the old treatment that we did, we'd cut away the disease in the pockets but it left the bacteria in there. So we together have pioneered identifying the bacteria and we're probably uh, one, maybe only 1% of the periodontists in the world are actually treating the actual cause of the disease. They're treating the results of the disease. And when you treat the cause, you've got the chance to keep people healthy for a much longer period. So we use the laser and we use antimicrobial therapy, the combination of both, to eliminate the bacteria that cause gum disease. Mm -hmm. And Tom, again, you've done so much research on this. You could well, we go on forever, really, I'm sure. Well, uh, we really focus on not only do we get rid of the bacteria uh, for once, we want to get rid of it forever. So we 
uh, have really pioneered using therapies that use antiseptics and now irrigations with special spatial antiseptics that we find that people when they take their slide now instead of those really active ones there's literally nothing in there when Tom pure. talks when Tom talks about taking a slide by the way we didn't mention that what we do is we actually take a slide from under the patient's gum look at it under a microscope and we see the parasites we see the bacteria we see what is associated with gum disease and we know if we can eliminate that and eliminate these organisms that patient's got a good chance of saving their teeth. The studies have shown that if you have a, a slide with none of those parasites or spirochetes in it that it's almost a hundred percent predictable that they'll stay healthy. We had one of our hygienists who her husband was continuing to have infection in his mouth Yeah, and so he has a dog that he lets kiss all the time so she, the next day, she went home in the morning, took a sample, brought it directly into the office, exactly the same bacteria. Interesting. Because patients ask us all the time, well, where did these bacteria come from? They can come from d pets, dogs. They can cats. come from the cats. They can come from contaminated water. They can come from kissing other people that have these organisms. Particularly that They way. can come from food. Uh, that may not be sterilized. Mm -hmm. There are all sorts of sources of these right, they bacteria. Say, uh, a three second kiss has almost 30 million bacteria in it. Is it worth it? Maybe. <laughs> I usually go for five second kisses. <laughs> That's awesome. If you keep your mouth clean though, you can kiss all you want to exactly. as long as you make sure you keep your mouth clean and healthy. Exactly. But I'll tell you what, what I'm equally concerned about and maybe even more so are the systemic diseases absolutely the systemic diseases that are being linked to gum disease particularly Alzheimer's now new study about a month and a half ago came out strongly not just linking periodontal disease with gum disease but as a real possible possible causative factor right. of Alzheimer's disease mm -hmm. plus you know it's an increased risk of lung cancer pancreatic cancer, certainly heart disease, stroke, diabetes. The systemic effects to me are devastating. It's To me it's like the silent killer. Like blood pressure is the silent killer. Mm -hmm. This is the silent killer. It mm -hmm. hasn't gotten as much notoriety, but to me it's just as dangerous. Even inflammation and periodontal disease have been associated with higher blood pressure, by the way, just recently. Higher blood pressure, you name it, and, and been gum disease is associated. generally making it worse. We've always been looking for minimally invasive therapies. That started the laser. Before they were using flap and osseous, you know, painful, swelling, <laughs> etc., recession, loss of bone, and then laser. Then we came up later on with doing doing uh, procedures for recession that were like arthroscopic surgery, so we could do that with much less pain. So we're always looking for minimally invasive therapies. Yeah, and now we're doing the pinhole technique. Right which is what you just sort of briefly mentioned, right. which is, in my opinion, nothing is as good to cover gum recession. Exactly. It's very, it's virtually minimally invasive, virtually mm -hmm. pain-free, mm -hmm. very effective. If, if you've got gum recession, Tom and I love doing this procedure, mm -hmm. and we were among the first in our parts of the country mm -hmm. to be certified in the technique. It's Doctor, great. Dr. Nemeth is really one of the best in the world at doing this, you know? Well, Tom is right up there. <laughs> That's very kind of him to say. Well, really what got me into periodontics was I didn't like making things, like dentists make things, and periodontal disease is usually seen in elderly patients, and my parents were older, and I was surrounded by older people, so I felt comfortable with older people, and I didn't like making things, but I liked getting people healthy, and so periodontal treatment and gum disease and becoming a periodontist became my goal. And, and the rest I is history. <laughs> One of the best in the world. <laughs> well, what got me going into perio is because I'm, I'm mission driven. I want to make the biggest possible contribution to patients, and if you can take a person who's about ready to lose their teeth and save their teeth which not only saves their teeth, may save their life. What a great calling. So for me, this is who I am. It's a natural 
expression of who I am. For me, doing perio is like playing tennis almost, which I do a lot too. What do you think it's going to take for people to really be aware of how serious gum disease, I'm talking about the general population. I think it's already starting to happen. It is starting I really to happen. Do. I think it's, it's, uh, it's, we've almost reached the tipping point. We're close. With, infor with information. So I'm seeing it everywhere now. So I think we've just about reached the tipping point of information that people are, are seeing that, that having this infection in the mouth is a serious problem. Yeah, we're getting to that critical mass mm -hmm. where there's more and more and more data on gum disease and how dangerous it is. Mm -hmm. And I think hopefully one of these days it'll be regarded just as dangerously as b blood pressure is now. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to... I think it's... It certainly deserves that role. Close. We're getting really close. If you do have gum disease or gum recession, you know, we're available. Dr. McCauley is great. I'm okay. But... <laughs> We're happy to help anybody who can use our help and uh, just make sure you keep your mouth healthy, get your mouth checked, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, we'll keep you posted on everything. We love comments, we love questions, and other than that, we wish you a healthy mouth and a healthy body and a happy life. Restore your smile and your health with the help of Dr. Nemeth and his associates. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.